Imagine you are standing in the deepest part of the void. No stars, no galaxies, just infinite, suffocating darkness. But then, a flash, a gamma ray burst, the most violent explosion the universe can produce, a star screaming as it dies. For a split second, the darkness is illuminated, and then, silence again. But what if you saw thousands? And what if those explosions weren't scattered randomly, but were striking in a perfect, jagged line across the cosmos? You would realize that you aren't looking at empty space. You are watching lightning strike the spine of a sleeping giant. In 2013, that's exactly what happened. A team led by Dr. Istvan Horvath wasn't looking for a wall. They were mapping gamma ray bursts, the death screams of massive stars. These are the brightest electromagnetic events in the universe. When a supermassive star collapses into a black hole, it fires a jet of high energy radiation across the cosmos. Astronomers use these pings to map the deep universe. They are incredibly rare. A typical galaxy might only produce one gamma ray burst every few million years. Finding one is lucky. Finding a cluster of them is statistically impossible. Astronomers realized that for so many of these rare explosions to appear in the same patch of sky, there had to be an overwhelming amount of matter there to produce them. They expected the explosions to be random, scattered, chaotic. Instead, they found a pattern. The explosions weren't scattered. They were clustered, a dense concentration of dying stars billions of light years away. When they connected the dots, the shape that emerged was impossible. They named it the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. Great Wall is an insult to its size. It is a superstructure of galaxies spanning 10 billion light years. Let's put that number into perspective. The Milky Way is 100,000 light years wide. The big ring we discussed recently is 1.3 billion light years. This wall is nearly 10 times larger than that. It accounts for roughly 10% of the diameter of the entire observable universe. It's not just an object in space, it is the single largest object ever discovered by humanity. If you could travel at the speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second, it would still take you 10 billion years to cross it. That is longer than the Earth has existed. That is longer than the sun has burned. To cross this wall is to travel through deep time itself. And this is where the awe turns into dread. Because according to everything we know about how the universe builds things, this object is impossible. It is too big to exist. To understand the quote-unquote impossibility, you have to understand the law. It is called the cosmological principle. It states that on a grand scale, the universe is homogeneous and isotropic. Think of it like a bag of sand. Up close, the grains are different sizes. But if you step back and look at the whole beach, it looks uniform. In astrophysics, there are two numbers you need to know. The first is 300 million light years. This is called the end of greatness. Beyond this scale, the universe is supposed to look smooth and random. The second number is 1.2 billion light years. This is the theoretical hard limit. According to the math of the Big Bang, it is physically impossible for gravity to build anything larger than this. So we have a soft limit of 300 million and a hard limit of 1.2 billion. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall laughs at both of them. It is 10 billion light years across, 30 times larger than the end of greatness, eight times larger than the theoretical maximum. It is like looking at a smooth desert and finding a mountain that is 500 miles high. It breaks the fair sample rule. This structure suggests that the universe is not smooth. It is lopsided. It implies that the Big Bang didn't distribute matter evenly. It missed a spot. Or worse, it poured everything into one spot. But the size isn't the scariest part. It's time. This is the smoking gun that makes astronomers lose sleep. Gravity is the weakest force in the universe. It is a slow builder. It takes billions of years to pull gas into stars, stars into galaxies, and galaxies into clusters. It is a brick-by-brick -brick process. The universe is 13.8 billion years old. This wall is 10 billion light-years away, meaning we see it as it was 10 billion years ago. 
That leaves only roughly 3.8 billion years for it to form after the Big Bang. To build a structure this massive in only 3 billion years is mathematically impossible using standard gravity. It's like finding a fully grown 100-year-old oak tree in a garden that was planted yesterday. Gravity didn't build this. It didn't have the time. Something else pushed this matter together. Something faster. Something stronger. Something that existed before gravity took hold. The Great Wall is not alone. As we map more of the dark, we are finding more impossibles. The giant arc. The big ring. They are all statistically impossible. And they are all suspiciously close to each other. Some physicists argue this is evidence of cosmic strings. Cracks in the universe form during the Big Bang that act like invisible magnets, trapping matter into massive lines. Others, like Sir Roger Penrose, suggest these are scars, remnants of a previous universe that died before ours began. The Great Wall might be the corpse of a supercluster from a reality that no longer exists. Or perhaps we are looking at the scaffolding. Maybe the universe isn't a random explosion. Maybe it is a construction site, and the Great Wall is a load-bearing beam. The discovery of the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall didn't just add a new object to our map. It tore the map up. It tells us that our standard model of physics is, at best, incomplete, and at worst, completely wrong. We built our laws of physics based on the neighborhood we live in, the Milky Way, but we are realizing that our neighborhood is tiny, and out there in the deep ocean, there are monsters that ignore our laws. The universe is not empty. We are at the early stages of mapping the dark, and we are just starting to turn on the lights. Around 2013, our analysis of GRB spatial distribution revealed an unexpected clustering of bursts in a particular region of the sky, corresponding to redshift around 2. When interpreted cosmologically, this cluster appeared to trace a structure spanning nearly 10 billion light years, making it one of the largest known features in the observable universe. What makes this so fascinating is that such a size seems to exceed the limits preceded by the cosmological principle, which assumes that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic uh, on scientific large scales, 